Welcome to the University of North Carolina School of the Arts. As we welcome back live audiences, health and safety remain our top priority. All audience members are required to wear a mask that covers your nose and mouth at all times, regardless of vaccination status. Please take a moment to locate the emergency exit nearest you, keeping in mind that the nearest exit may be behind you. We would like to remind you that the taking of photographs or the use of any recording device is prohibited. Out of respect for the performers and fellow audience members, please silence all electronic devices. Thank you for your cooperation and enjoy the performance. Thank <laughs> you. 
thank you very much. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for having me here at your beautiful campus. And uh, thanks to John Ilka in particular for inviting me here, the trombone professor. Um, that first piece was by Camille Saint-Saëns, and for trombonists, that's probably the most famous composer to have written an original work for trombone, so I thought I'd start out with that. It's one of our standard repertoire pieces. Sasson actually in 1950, 1915 was a guest at the World's, um, sorry, the uh, World's Fair in San Francisco and he was invited there by the music director of the festival, George Stewart. And George Stewart was a professional trombonist who actually played in the Boston Symphony for five years or so before he became a concert promoter. Um, and he was a big fan of Saint-Saëns. Saint-Saëns spent a lot of time at this World Fair. And as a thank you and a tribute to George, he wrote this piece when he got back to Paris after that, that fair and uh, sent it to him. <clears throat> when he got it, he was very excited and, and wrote back to Saint-Saëns saying, this is the most beautiful uh, piece for trombone ever written. And then Saint-Saëns, in a letter to somebody, another friend of him, said, as one knows, it is easy for the one-eyed man to be king in the country of the blind. <laughs> <laughs> I think since that time, uh, we, we do have more repertoire for trombone. <clears throat> but the next selection is I'm Stealing. We do a lot of stealing, too, from other instruments. And this I'm Stealing from a vocalist, uh, the Brahms Four Series Songs, written uh, initially for bass baritone. But I think it fits well on the trombone, because the trombone is right in that range. And I love playing these songs uh, as an example. To me, great music it has a story, or at least it conveys some kind of emotion, and quite often it's helpful to attach words to that, and obviously with this we have text, and hopefully I, I ask that there be the text be put with the program, so hopefully you have that with you, and feel free to read along if you can see it, <clears throat> and get a sense of what these are about. But these are the four series songs by Johannes Brahms. <clears throat>
I'm sorry about that.
Thank you. Um, sorry about that. Rule number one, make sure your pages are in the right order. Um, <clears throat> so, Brahms, I, I wanted to do one extra thing after that. Uh, they are serious songs, so of course they're beautiful. I, I just love the contrast, especially Oh Death, you know, like the two sides <laughs> of what death is, and I think that's so much of, in our life. <clears throat> this etude number three from the 12 trump, uh, etudes for trumpet, there's a story that Brahms played a gig in Hamburg uh, with a trumpet player that was not very good, and he was inspired to write these etudes to help him improve him, his technique. <clears throat> There's, I'm not sure if that's true. There's some reasons to doubt the validity of that. And if you go on to a trumpet forum, which I don't recommend, <laughs> you'll see how they fight over it. Uh, I, obviously, Brahms in the symphonies really pushed the technical abilities of trombones with our range and playing and the horn playing. And Brahms himself played natural horn, so he knew what the horn was capable of. But his trumpet parts are very simple. So it does seem odd that he would write technical trumpet etudes. Um, they may have been for horn. In fact, my edition says for horn or trumpet. <clears throat> Regardless, and, and then some people d doubt whether it really sounds like Brahms. So regardless, I think it's really pretty music, so I'm going to play this etude number three by Brahms. kombucha that John makes. He makes really good kombucha. Thank <laughs> you. 
half of the hard part, <laughs> the second half. Speaking of uh, stealing music, I love Prokofiev. I love playing Prokofiev in the orchestra. It's Symphony Number no. Five is one of my favorites. Um, and of course, Romeo and Juliet. There's quite a few suites from the ballet that we play in the orchestra. And uh, we have great parts to play. Usually the loud stuff, which is all in here too. Uh, but I'm always a little jealous of the string players and the woodwind players who get to play fun, fun little ditties. And this arrangement by Eric Saras and Charlie Vernon uh, gives me a lot of that more than I really need. When John asked me to do this recital, I'm like, oh, I want to try this piece. And during the pandemic, it seemed like a really great idea with all the time I had to practice. And now it's upon us. <laughs> um, Charlie Vernon, bass trombonist in the Chicago Symphony, is a real inspiration to me. A beautiful player who plays alto, tenor, and bass trombone, and he just can play anything. And he arranged this for tenor and bass trombone and tuba. This is the tenor trombone version of it. <clears throat> and as hard as my part is, it's even worse for piano. So thank you to Dr. Gagnon for, for playing, tackling this with me. Thank you. 
an original piece for trombone. This is by Stephen Verhelst, written for two bass trombones. Um, but I'm gonna, I didn't want to bring two horns, so I'm playing it on my tenor trombone. We made a few changes. He's helping me out with his bass trombone. Some of those like things. he needs any help? <laughs> uh, it's really fun. Devil's Waltz. I think you'll understand when you hear it. Thank you. 